Today I'm going to show you how you can master playing pretty much any melody on the piano by using this one particular tool. And if you watch it until the end, I'm going to share with you a very powerful resource to help you practice what I'm going to share with you today. If you have not watched, this is actually part of a video series. If you have not watched the first video, if you're a complete beginner, I would invite you to check out that video first. It's going to be labeled video one in the description box. So watch that first and then come back to this one. So today I'm going to show you a powerful tool that would help you master playing any melody, any chord, and it always starts with learning your scales. So what is a scale? A scale is basically, if you ever if you ever remember going back to school and if you've learned about do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, that's a scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Right? Basically you're going from one key to the same key an octave higher, but you're hitting each of the notes in the scale as you're going forward. So I'm going to show you how to play one of the many scales. There's, there's well over 48 scales um, that exist in piano. I'm going to only show you one, which is the first one. This one is called the C major scale. It starts with C and it ends with C. That's why it's called the C scale. And it's major because there's major and minor scales. Major sounds happy. <laughs> minor sounds sad. So whenever you hear a song that's in a major key, it's actually borrowing the notes from the C major scale. So whether someone's playing a melody in a, ma a song in a major key, or if they're playing major scales, right? Those notes and those, uh, sorry, scales, chords, um, those chords and those notes, those melody notes are coming from the scales that I'm going to be teaching you. So if you know the scale for that particular key, and if it's a minor song, same thing happens. The reason why it's a minor song is because the melody and the chords are coming from the minor scale. So in order for you to really familiarize yourself with those things, you need to know the scale that belongs to that key, and then you'll be able to build melodies that way. With that said, I'm going to show you first how to play the C scale with the right hand. I'm also going to show you how to play it with the left hand. So if you don't know already, in music, your fingers have numbers, or in piano, the, your fingers have numbers. Thumb is number one, index is two, middle is three, ring finger is four, and pinky is five. Same thing for the left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Simple enough, right? Now, if you remember, C is the white key to the left of the two black keys. Again, that's all covered in video one in terms of how to name keys. So again, assuming you've gone back and watched that video, you can start here. So we're going to start with our right hand, and we're going to go up, which is basically to the right. So we start with our thumb on C. Then after our thumb goes to C, we're going to take our two finger and play D. And then after D, we're going to take our third finger and play E. So those are the first three notes. And then after you take your third finger to play E, you're going to bring your thumb under, right, your third finger, and you're going to play the very next key, which is F. So one, two, three, and then thumb comes under to play F. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reposition your entire hand to move upwards. So now you're in this position. You started here, but now you're here. Now you have enough fingers to finish the rest of the scale. So there, your two fingers are going to go to G. Your third finger is going to go to A. Your fourth finger is going to go to B, and then your pinky is going to go to C. So again, thumb on C, two on D, three on E, one comes over to F, reposition, two finger for G, third finger for A, fourth finger for B, and then fifth finger for C. Going back down is the reverse. So you actually start with your pinky uh, on C at the top C you just played, and we're going to go this way. And then fourth finger will play B, third finger plays A, two finger plays G, your thumb will play F, and then watch very closely. Once you use your thumb for F, so going back down, you're going to use all five fingers first. 
you're gonna take your middle finger, your third finger, bring it over your thumb to play E, which is the next key over. Then you will reposition and then take your two finger to play D and then thumb for C. So five, four, three, two, one. And then three comes over and then two and then one. You want to practice the right hand if you're starting this out and if it's taking a bit of time, practice just the right hand by itself before moving to the left hand. Before I get into the left hand, I wanted to bring something to your attention. If you're looking for a hands-on virtual group training, I do have a, a coaching program. There's a seven-day access link to my coaching program intro series in the description box if that's, if that's something that you're interested in. The seven-day access is free. Check it out, see if it's a good fit for you. Now the left hand is going to start because the left hand is the inverted version of the right hand. If you're gonna go up, the left hand's gonna start with its pinky and go C. And then your fourth finger's gonna go to D. Your third finger's gonna play E. Your two finger's gonna play F. And then your thumb is gonna play G. So for the left hand going up, you're going to use all five fingers before you switch anything. Then once you get to your thumb to G, you're going to take that third finger, your middle finger, and bring it over your thumb to play A. Your two finger will play B. And then your thumb is going to play C. So going back up, sorry, uh, yeah, going back up, fifth finger for C. Fourth finger for D, third finger for E, two finger for F, one finger for G, then third finger comes over your thumb to A, two finger for B, one finger for C. Then going back down, it's the reverse. So thumb for C, we're going this way. Two finger goes to B, third finger goes to A, and for the left hand going down, you're going to stop at your third finger and bring your thumb under your third finger to play G, and then you reposition. So what that does is it lands your two finger for F, your third finger for E, your fourth finger for D, and then your fifth finger will play C. So going back down again, thumb for C, two for B, three for A. At that point, thumb comes under to G, reposition, two for F, three for E, four for D, and pinky, fifth finger for C. A really good resource to practice your scales, and this is just for the C scale. Obviously, you wanna practice this on your own, but if you wanna practice some of the other scales that I mentioned, the 48 scales that I've talked about, they're in this book called Scales, Chords, and Arpeggios by James Bastian. It has a sheet music version, but as you can see, it has the major scales, it has the minor scales, it gives you all of the scales that you need if you want to go and take the extra mile to learn some of the other scales for the other keys on the piano. Now, the next video that I'm going to publish in the future is going to be how to play sheet music or how to uh, practice sheet music, how to name the notes on sheet music for the right hand. Um, if I have that video published by the time you see this video, I'm going to put it in the end screen right here and you'll be able to see it if it's been published already. So if you do have any questions, feel free to put it in the question or in the comment section. And if you like my stuff, obviously uh, subscribe and like, comment and share. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.